What's going on everybody, LK here, and today I'm going to continue with another secret technique. One that I actually did not think was uh, so secret, but uh, in the previous tier list video I just dropped, I mentioned Team Gohan's mobility with the Kara legs. People were like, what's that? How do you do that? I didn't know he could do that. So I decided to skip what I was going to do and do him first. So as a base, remember that we talk about mobility quite a bit in Dragon Ball Fighters, and it's pretty important too, especially considering that all the characters have the same universal movement options. So we greatly value characters with moves that go from the air to the ground, like Lord Kid Buu, or characters that can travel, well, or characters that can traverse horizontal space really quickly, like Bardock. So Team Gohan actually is pretty mobile. I mentioned this as one of the many reasons why I think he is such an amazing character. He's got this sliding 2M that reaches really far. He does have a lariat of his own. And when he's in the air, he has a really amazing angle on his JS and he has this, the bomb, the J2S. The bomb in particular has multiple versions. So you have the J2S, which maintains your current momentum, and he has a J3S that always makes him go forward. So when you air dash back, you can kind of stop yourself, hop forward, and throw the bomb. And similar to his adult form as well, he has air legs. So out of these, the L version carries the momentum of where he's going already. The M version always advances forward. The EX version kind of depends, so it'll carry momentum on where you're going if you're already going somewhere, but if not, it will lean towards moving forward. Now the big issue for Gohan here is that when he's moving backwards, he isn't that great at moving back forwards. So what do I mean? So for example, we have my good old buddy, the Fusion, Gotenks himself. So he has these EX hands. So one thing about EX hands is of course you could use it to just move forward, but also because of how much momentum it has, when you're moving backwards, you can instantly shift your momentum back forwards. So Gohan is not so good at this. When he decides to move back forward, he can either use the bomb, which you can super dash, his L legs will keep him moving backwards, which is good when we want to move backwards, but if we want to move back forwards, then we're kind of out of juice. And his M legs does do the trick, but it doesn't move anywhere scary nor does his EX, unless we return to our good old buddy, Kara Canceling. So if you forgot, or if this is your first video hearing this term in fighting games, Kara Canceling is a term we use in fighting games to refer to the act of canceling the startup of one move into another action before that first action starts. So the most common example and probably the easiest one to try is Kara DR as they call it. GT Goku has a really good one. It's really obvious when you do it right. You use his power pole, his 5S to do it. So when you do it right, it should look like this. So you can see that the power pole literally comes out and then we cancel it. If the opponent is not ready for that, then they will definitely get thrown by that Dragon Rush. So what kind of move can we use to help us out with this? Of course, it would be the J3S. So, as I mentioned before, the J3S always makes him move forward. So if we put that into our legs input, then we can retreat, but then shift our momentum instantly forward and do legs. So here's an example. You can clearly see the beginning of the bomb come out, and he's clearly moving backwards and shifting his momentum instantly forwards. This makes his movement way more variable if you're able to do it. Normally, his super jump back legs will look like that. So this is the difference. Look at how quickly he shifts his momentum here from instant air dash back to instantly coming back forward with the L legs. Even if you were just trying to move forwards, the Kara legs moves farther than just doing a super jump forward legs anyway. Now I will say two things about this. So one, the real strength of this comes again from when you're moving backwards and trying to move back forwards. So when you're moving forwards, the L legs already carries pretty good momentum. The other thing is, I find this actually to be quite difficult. Out of the car cancel techniques I'm already aware of in this game, uh, this one was definitely the hardest. Uh, this was something I was trying to do in Season 2 a lot, around uh, the end of the season, and eventually I came to the conclusion I was like, this is too hard, I think. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I don't got the sauce, maybe you guys do. If you have questions about the input, I have the input display on so you guys can clearly see it as well. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, uh, so many of you were asking about this in the tier list video that I was like, okay, we could skip the one I was going to do next and do this. As usual, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you guys next time.
Peace out.